In this video, we'll write the isotope notation for sodium, Na. This is also called nuclear notation or isotopic notation. There are two ways to do it. First, we have hyphen notation here. That's where we have the element name, like sodium, and then a hyphen with the mass number. The mass number, that represents the protons plus the neutrons. So in hyphen notation, we have the element symbol, then the mass number. And each one of these here is an isotope of sodium. These are the major isotopes of the sodium atom. For nuclear notation, first we'll write the element symbol. That's the Na. We have the mass number up here. The atomic number goes down here. And often we'll have the ionic charge over here. So for sodium, we know that this right here, that's the mass number. So we can write the mass number in here, 22. The atomic number, we find that on the periodic table. That's the number of protons. So atomic number for sodium, Na, that's going to be 11. So we can just write that in as well. Here's the 11. The ionic charge, that's the charge on the element. All of the elements on the periodic table, they're neutral. They don't have a negative or a plus after it. And we don't have ion written after this word here. So the ionic charge for a neutral element that's zero. So we could write a zero in here. Often you won't see that written. For sodium 23, again, we write the element symbol Na. We know that the mass number is 23. The atomic number for sodium, it's always going to be 11. That's what its identity is. That's how we know it's sodium. And again, this is neutral. So there will be a zero here for the ionic charge. Pause and write the isotope notation, the nuclear notation here, for sodium 24. Again, for sodium-24, we write the element symbol. We know the mass number here from the hyphen notation. Sodium's always 11, and there's no charge, so we could write a zero up here. We really don't need to write anything about the neutrons, because we can just figure those out. So for sodium-24, we know the mass number is 24. We know it has 11 protons. That's the atomic number. So 13 plus 11, that would give us 24. So the isotope sodium-24 has 13 neutrons. And you could figure that out for both of these as well. One last thing. If we have a sample of sodium, it'll have the different isotopes present. But the most common isotope will be the sodium-23. And we know that because when we take the average mass of all the isotopes based on how many there are, their abundance, it ends up being very close to 23, 22.99. So most all of the elements in a sample of sodium are going to be sodium-23. 23, 23, 11, so they'll have 12 neutrons. This is Dr. B with the isotope notation for sodium. Thanks for watching.